Brothers and sisters, um, the last video that I put up, I got a lot of email, a lot, and a lot of Facebook uh, messages. And um, a lot of people usually watch my videos from Facebook or, um, like I said, they watch it on Facebook or they'll come by my channel, watch it there or what have you. You know, however they look at it, you know. Anyway, um, a lot of people had questions about their investments, okay? Questions about their retirement. Ladies and gentlemen, I am not an investor. I'm not a financial analyst. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not any of that. I'm not a tax advisor. I'm not any of that. I don't specialize in that area. So, I couldn't tell you how to work your finances or your investments because you have concerns that the Dow Jones was down again. And that's another thing I'm going to address. I'm going to address it now real quick. They told y'all that the Dow Jones was down 240 points. That's a lie. It was Fox 5 News. Excuse me a second, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my dinner didn't agree with me today, sorry. Um, they told y'all with mainstream media news that the Dow Jones was down 240 points. That is not true. The alternative media had put out an article. You could Google it yourself, but it's a non-mainstream media news saying that the Dow Jones was down actually 480 points, I believe. But I went to the father... And he told me it was down actually 577. So the mainstream media news, like I told you, they're manipulating the numbers. It was it's it's way worse than what they see, they make it seem to be about the Dow Jones, about the financial status of the United States. I mean, it's I already told you in yesterday's video that I did that it's not good. And I can't emphasize that enough for you guys. I really can't. Excuse me a second, I'm just washing my face up a little bit. I'm in my bathroom cleaning up as I'm giving you this broadcast. <laughs> anyway, I can't emphasize to you guys about how uh, how um, it's not good of what's going on. You know, the economy, the state that it's in. Check out my, my video from yesterday. It gives you encouragement on how to deal with these times. But I'm not an investor. I can't tell you what to do with your investments. All I can tell you is what I reiterated in yesterday's video, that it's just investments. If you lose your investments, so what? God will provide a way. You might be like, Esmeralda, are you insane? I have so much money tied up in this. Well, let me tell you something. If you love Jesus Christ enough, you will give up everything for this wealth, including your wealth, your earthly wealth. Those are just investments. It says in the word of God, for the love of money is the root of all evil. And it's true. Okay? Money is behind the economic disasters, if you think about it. Money is, e e is the foundation of economics. Excuse me. Okay? So, you know, I'm not a financial advisor to tell you what to do with your monies. All I can tell you is, yes, your monies is at risk because it is earthly for one. And for two, excuse me, it is tied into the world economy, how the world economy thrives, whether the world economy succeeds or fails. Now, I told you that God will bless you, right? If you trust in the Lord, God will bless you. If you're righteous, God will bless you because God blessed Solomon. Solomon asked the Lord for discernment. God blessed Solomon with, with riches, a powerful um, kingdom, respect, wealth, 
Solomon had heavenly, um, heavenly wealth here on earth. The kind of wealth that Solomon had, he had um, land, he had animals, his land brought forth good fruit. He had uh, natural resources like gold, you know. Um, that's a type of godly wealth. It can be, it can be, because it's mentioned in the Bible. And it can be a godly wealth if you share it with others, if you help others. That's what Solomon did. Solomon wasn't greedy. Solomon used his wealth to help others for the benefit of his nation, for the benefit of his people. He didn't pocket the money. He didn't um, make a debt slave system. He didn't make his people in slaves to debt. Everybody prospered. That's the kind of wealth that God will bless you with. Is if you take, if, if God blesses you and you use your blessings to help others to thrive and live righteous before God, God will continue to bless you in that way. But the earthly wealth that you see here, that's money. I know you're saying, well, gold is money. Gold can be a heavenly wealth if it's used to help others. So can money. To a certain degree, if it's used to help others, and if it's and if you don't have this intense love for money, or it can be used for personal gain, for greed, to help yourself out, forget the others. This world, they use money as a slave system. The rich get richer, the poor get poorer. They use it to help the rich and forget those that are in a very bad situation. Now, excuse me, I realize that people make their own choices and they cause their situation to be bad. I get it. But you have people out there that don't cause their situation to be bad, that they struggle, that they try the best that they can and they still struggle. So, for example, you could have... Uh, a single parent, maybe she's divorced, right? Divorced in a godly way. Single parent, and she's trying to make ends meet. And she might come to a friend and say, can you please lend me $50 so I can buy my child milk? If her friend gives her that $50, God's going to bless her for helping someone else. If her friend does it, God is going to curse her. That's exactly what's happening in this nation too. There are people out there that are poor. They didn't choose to be poor. They try the best that they can, but they wasn't born in this financial status where they can go to the best colleges, live in a nice home, drive a nice car. So they struggle. And then you got the people in this nation that are rich that don't even help them or even try. So help one another so that that poor person could have could be strong could be financially well off to help somebody else that's less fortunate and spread that wealth. This nation's all out for themselves. That's why this, the economic disaster that you see happening is happening. And that's why this nation is going to continue to be cursed. But going back to what I told you, your investments our earthly wealth is part of the system. You might not think so, but it is. If you have a 401k through your job, if you have a pension, it's part of the system. But if you have a business and you're a righteous Christian, righteous in God's eyes, and you built that business from the ground up and you live it right before God, that's a blessing from God. And God will keep that business thriving even in the worst economic times. So you could prosper like Solomon did, and so that you can help those of less fortune, so that way you could be more blessed. And those that are less fortunate could be financially strong enough to help those, um, or could be strong enough financially to help those less fortunate, and then they could be blessed, and so forth. And doing right was right before God's eyes. But, ladies and gentlemen, let me close this door real quick. Um, your investments and the majority of your investments are tied up into these companies that love money, they're greedy 
that have a wealth and debt system that they keep their citizens, people, slave to the debt system. Instead of canceling out all debts in seven years, as it says in the Word of God, I believe it's in the book of Deuteronomy. It's one of the book of laws that's centered around laws in the Bible. They don't cancel the debts. They violate God's laws. So if you're tied up, your investments are tied up in these businesses, yes, your investments are going to be at risk because it's not godly and it's not godly ordained. You might not think so, oh, God bless me with this, from this company. If Think about it, ladies and gentlemen. If you get a job, a good job, okay, God may bless you with that job. And let's say you have an investment tied up with that company and that company is downright evil. Your investment's going to be at risk. Yes, God will bless you and God will find a way, but your investment is going to be at risk. You run the risk of losing that investment because it's tied to this world. Okay? You might not think so. You might think it's a blessing from God. To a certain degree, it's a blessing from God. Not so much the investment, the fact that you got that good job, God blessed you to a certain degree. God blessed you with that job as a temporary means to get you somewhere else, perhaps. But your investment in that company, a company that is evil, will be at risk. So you may lose that investment. Okay? You may lose it. Just face the possibilities. Or you may not. Your investment may thrive as you as a righteous person while the others will fail. So you may or may not lose it. Just don't be centered around your investments and your pensions and your 401k. Just face the facts and you might lose the you might lose that. It is at risk. As a righteous person, it may not be at risk. If it's not, God will keep your investments intact. And of course, those of the unrighteous will lose theirs. But if you lose your investment, God will find a God will find a way to provide for you. God will always provide. Jesus Christ always provides. Jesus Christ is God. And Jesus Christ will find other lucrative means, other not, not lucrative means, other blessings for you. Jesus Christ will bless you in many different ways. Jesus Christ will provide. Now, as for your investments, um, like I said, the Lord may even test you as a righteous person. He may let your investments get affected by this economic downturn that's just starting. He may test you in that respect. So that's another way to look at it. So I'm saying it's possible you may lose your investments. God may let you lose your investments to test you to see if you will either curse him or turn against him or trust God that he will provide for you. God doesn't want you to have any ties to this world. See, the re one of the biggest reasons why money is the root of all evil, love of money is the root of all evil, is that people think that when they are very wealthy, they have cars and houses, excuse me, they have cars and houses, right, that they don't need to be dependent on God, that they have everything they want, that they're like their own God, like an idol. But that's not the case, it's far from it. You need God in everything you do. You need Jesus Christ. God, Jesus Christ wants you to give your life then. That's why he died on the cross for you. To live for him, not for yourself. Living for yourself is pretty selfish. And that's disobedient in God's eyes. And um, you will still need Jesus Christ. A lot of these celebrities think that just because they're wealthy and they're rich, they don't need God. Well, you do because you know what? When you die someday, you're going to wake up in heaven or hell. All souls are God's. All souls are returned to Jesus Christ for judgment. Everybody is returned to the dust. Amen? Their bodies, anyway. Their spirits are returned to Jesus Christ for judgment. Immediate judgment. You'll wake up in heaven or hell. You can't take your walk with you. The real riches are in heaven. So instead of being centered around your investments, your pensions and all that, never mind that. There's a possibility you may lose it. Yes, God can give you blessings. God can take them away as well if, if you're not righteous in his eyes. Because if you start to worry about your pension, and your, your investments, then you're starting to worry about money and starting to covet money. You're starting to love money. And then that's a sin in itself. And that's going to start to tear you away from God. And then you run the risk that you will be cursed 
and part of the financial, um, the economic dirt downturn that just begun and other curses that are already here and more coming upon this nation and the world for that matter. So all I can tell you guys is don't worry about your investments. Let God take care of everything because he has everything under control. If you lose your investments, okay, that means you're being tested. If you don't lose your investments, that means that God bless you is going to have your investments as a righteous person thrive while those of the wicked do not thrive. But I'm going to tell you right now, face the possibilities you may lose your investments. More than likely you will. That's how God's going to test you. I believe that as far as your investments are concerned, I believe you will lose them. I'm not wishing it, but I believe you will lose them because God is going to test you to see if you are of Him or not. So just worry. I mean, don't worry about anything. Give all your worries and burdens to Jesus Christ. And He'll take care of everything, okay? Because I have a lot of email about that video. I don't know why you guys were freaking out about that video. I'm not saying all of you. And forgive the terminology that I just used. I'm not cursing, okay? But I'm just telling you guys, why, you know, why worry? I already told you that God will provide for you. Don't worry, you have to have faith. If you don't have faith, that's a sin. You have to have faith because faith without works is dead, remember? You have to have faith and you also have to prove yourself to God through your actions. So, I hope this helps you guys. And, um... As I told you, I'm not going to sit here and tell you everything is good. I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. I'm going to tell you the truth like it is that out there is bad. Okay? When they tell you that the Dow Jones is down a couple of hundred points, that's not the case, ladies and gentlemen. Jesus Christ told me it's way more than that. They're lying to the public. Because I, I went, right? And I told you, I looked at the mainstream media news. They said that the points was down 240. But then when you go to the alternative media, they have 480, I think. But the Lord told me it's actually 577, I think I told y'all. 570 or 577? No, it's 577 points. That's what it's down. It's actually down 577 points. I apologize. So bottom line is the alternative media... Um, you want to listen, look at, look at, read that... Test the spirits for everybody, as always. Don't look at the mainstream media news. Excuse me, because they're not telling you everything. They're telling you a pack of lies. Don't believe what they tell you, ladies and gentlemen. Don't. Because <laughs> they're lying to you. It's not what they say it is. And if they tell you don't panic, everything's all right, don't listen to them. I'm not telling you to go out there and panic, but don't listen to them. That's, that's, they're downplaying it. That means that when they're telling you don't panic, that means that the situation is very serious. You need to get in your prayer closet and give your all to Jesus Christ right now. Okay? All right, I got to finish cleaning up. If you have any questions, inbox me on YouTube or hit me up on Facebook. Okay? Take care. And seek Jesus Christ's counsel. Most importantly, first. And test the spirits. Ask God if what I tell you is true.